And now for an exciting development. We here in Southern Delaware are incredibly lucky to have only two hours away, the preeminent American Music Conservatory, the Curtis Institute of Music. And on January 22nd, we'll be presenting an exciting new partnership with this famed institution, Curtis On Tour, and specifically the Curtis On Tour Brass Quintet. These are all Curtis alumni who have individual careers, but are coming together just for us. We've had many Curtis alumni and faculty members here in Lewis before, but this is the first time that we've had a formal relationship with Curtis and we're looking forward to many more collaborations in our regular series we're calling Spotlight on Curtis. Many graduates step into professional careers as soloists or members of the world's greatest symphony orchestras. In fact, every major American orchestra has principals who are Curtis alumni, and no less than 60 graduates have sung at the Metropolitan Opera. One of Curtis's core values is outreach, and our group, the Curtis On Tour Brass Quintet, will be giving an outreach program at one of our local schools. As one person says in the following video you're about to see, there's nothing that inspires a young person better than another young person. At this concert's performance insights, I'll be talking about the history of Curtis and how everyone who's ever bought the Ladies Home Journal or the Saturday Evening Post has contributed to this great institution. In the following video, you'll also see some familiar faces to coastal concerts from previous years. Roberto Diaz, violist of the American String Quartet, former principal viola of the Philadelphia Orchestra and president of Curtis, and the great violinist Ida Kifavian. Mstislav Rostropovich, the legendary Russian cellist, said, Curtis is unique, not only in the United States, but in the whole world. So here now is Curtis on tour. We have an unprecedented year for Curtis on tour ahead with touring activities in Asia, Europe, and here in the Americas. We have about 40 performances throughout the world, including educational and community engagement activities in each location. The season, of course, culminates with the Curtis Symphony Orchestra tour to Europe with performances in nine cities and five countries. This is the most substantial year of touring we've ever had, ending with the most ambitious touring project we've ever taken on. The value of Curtis on tour for me, it's the experience of touring, of what it means to be traveling and performing and getting to play with great musicians is also a really a great experience. A highlight for me is definitely collaborating with these artists. I learned something unique from every single person on this tour and for me that's something very valuable. You never really as a professional get to learn pieces the same way that you do when you are in school. The things that you learn and experiences that you have when you can really concentrate on something in a very deep and meaningful way, those experiences stay with you forever. It is such a clear example of our philosophy that you learn by doing. For us to give the students the opportunity to not just learn by doing in Philadelphia, but learning by doing what incredibly successful musicians actually do. They go on tours. I thought it would be a good idea for us to just have a little time together to talk a little bit about itineraries for the tour. You'll have a lot of information in here. Shmuel is amazing for all of us, and I include myself in that. I have certainly learned a tremendous amount. I think that we have to remember that we're traveling with someone who is kind of a legend. It's amazing how close people become 
because of the fact that they're sharing this common experience and it's usually based on the music. It's really wonderful because we've seen this basically on every single trip that we've done. Curtis on Tour is an amazing opportunity for our students to not only play concerts in a variety of places, but to engage with the community. I love doing side-by-sides. I remember when I was really young and I did a side-by-side -side with uh, the Philadelphia Youth Orchestra when I was in All City. You get to play next to these great players and I was very inspired when I was young. I was sitting right up front with the uh, principal cellist of the Sacramento Youth Orchestra. He was 10 years old. His name was Peter. We had a lot of fun playing with the Curtis musicians tonight. I learned that it is very important to watch your conductor. I noticed that they were all smiling at each other and really getting together in the music. No one will inspire a young person like a young person. So I think that we believe very strongly here at school that it's not just about performing, but it's also about your role as an advocate. The Mondavi Center and Don Roth, they have been our partners from the very beginning. One of the things I really uh, love about the program is it brings the students together with their teachers, with the faculty, with distinguished alumni. So it's never a pure student show, but it's really a mixture of these multi-generational uh, artists from Curtis. And I think that makes it very powerful. Curtis on tour didn't exist when I was a student and now it became a very, very valuable instrument for the students to learn from performing and also it's wonderful for me to see how they support each other. Honestly, what is most important for all of us, I believe, is the music, the music that we truly love that we grow with, with each performance, and the musical connections that we have with every person in this project. To be on the road with great musicians who I've loved hearing and working with, and to witness and be a participant in the continual evolution of this music and the way that we perform it. The students, I think, will forever be grateful to Nina for the fact that she has put the resources and the, the love that she's put into, into this program and we now have the opportunity to take a group like the Curtis Orchestra and give basically two-thirds of our student body the opportunity to tour in the major musical capitals of Europe. We are very fortunate and lucky to have put together this wonderful tour for the Curtis Symphony Orchestra this May and June. It's a huge tour. It's very impressive what they do in London, Berlin, Vienna, Salzburg, Dresden, Bremen, Helsinki. Young musicians will have experience for life once we do this quite dense tour where every day is packed with activity and playing. There are a lot of schools out there and I don't know of any program that's quite like this, where a student learns the practical training of having to play a piece over and over again, wake up in a new city every other day, or even every day, and be able to bring their A-game onto the stage and perform at the highest level again and again. It's like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get to do this and travel and play in these world-renowned venues. It's the most exciting thing and I'm definitely going to remember it for the rest of my life. There's really nothing more instructional than really getting out on the battlefield and doing it. We are talking about the most talented musicians in the world gathered together in one group, forming a collective. Many of the prominent orchestras of today would be proud to have such a great tour. Curtis on Tour has allowed us to start to bring the essence of Curtis to the world. From now on, every Curtis student will have the opportunity to learn from Curtis on Tour. We are tremendous believers in this art form and its value to society. And who better to highlight that than the next generation? Thank you.